Rolling shots are shot using a tracking car from which the photographer shoots the subject of the motorbike or car. Practically, both need to be at the same speed and side by side, or in close proximity. The subject is photographed handheld and at relatively slow shutter speeds, so that the background and foreground blur enough to give a sensation of speed, whilst keeping the car or motorbike sharp. In this video, we will go into detail about how to set up everything that needed to create the perfect rolling shot. So, stay tuned! This is the most important element in this shooting. Consider the area that has quiet traffic and a big lane. This is for your own safety. Choose the nicest background in the area. In this shot, I used a lot of trees and greenery for the background. The important thing that you need to check is the sun and lighting direction. However, this would potentially be illegal on public roads in your city. In fact, shooting from an open car window may also be illegal if you don't have a seat belt on, or if you are protruding from the car. So be mindful to avoid doing it. Back down. I'm a force of nature, can't be contained. I got lightning running all through my veins. Watch me now. Watch me now. The goal here is to get the motorbike as clear and sharp as possible, so you need to use a small aperture. And the challenge here is, you need to use slow shutter speed on the moving car that rolls on bumpy roads. If you have vibration reduction on your lens, enable it. But you don't have a choice, your hand needs to be steady in this photo session. Although you already discussed the shoot in advance, ideally you need to be able to communicate with the riders during the shooting, so it will be easy to give them instruction. In this kind of situation, Bluetooth two-ways communicator always comes in handy. So the key is, you have to find the slowest shutter speed which will give you a decent amount of blur in the background, whilst your hand is steady. But also to keep the aperture number that makes the bike and the rider sharp. I recommend a zoom lens here as opposed to a prime because you'll need the ability to zoom in and out on the car quickly and easily. Last but not least, safety first. Make sure your car's door is locked. Use your camera strap. And always be mindful of your surroundings. Try a different angle to get more variety of shots. That's it. This is a really fun session of shooting. Enjoy your roller adventure. Oh, you know I don't give up.